Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, we go from Michael Kobold's operation in Pittsburgh to Pennsylvania Dutch country. That's right, Amish country, Lancaster County, and Roland G. Murphy's RGM manufacturer. We're looking at the RGM Diver Reference 300 Series 1, 43.5 millimeters in stainless steel. This represented Roland Murphy's departure from his traditional formal and dress watches to his first ever aggressive sports reference. So let's put this robust diver on the wrist, talk a little bit about its unique features and its backstory, so we get a complete picture of who Roland G. Murphy and the RGM manufacturer are. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters, you can see that this RGM Diver Series 1 cuts an imposing stance absolutely massive and 17 millimeters thick it is tank like in a lot of ways this is like america's answer to the rolex deep sea and i'm going to add that it has a little bit of an aesthetic that's a combination of a vintage blancpain 50 fathoms uh panerai pam 64 bomba and that gigantic hulking rolex deep sea sea dweller of modern times but the feel is quite comfortable a great giant sports watch, the oversized modern sports watch, classically looks big but wears small. And I gotta say that eyes closed, because the watch is so well counterweighted by a robust bracelet and a substantial clasp, it's heavy, but it's nicely counterbalanced. It's poised. There's no sense that this ship is gonna capsize on the wrist. Now, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters, is a bit below average in wrist size, but the watch sits nice and flat, and as you can see, from my profile shot right here, the watch is actually only about 53 millimeters lug to lug, which means that the span of it is no larger than something like that Rolex Deep Sea, which wears well on most wrists, or a 44 millimeter Panerai Luminor. So although it's big, it's not too big. If you like the large watch size, or you like the aesthetic of a classical dive watch, an instrument watch, then this RGM Diver Reference 300 is gonna be ideal for you. Now, I mentioned a little bit that there are actually two principal American-made watch companies doing business in Pennsylvania these days. And of the two, RGM is the older. Having been established in 1992 by master watchmaker Roland G. Murphy, unlike Michael Kobold, who launched into sports watches right out of the gate, uh, RGM focused more on formal dress styles, and it wasn't until 2009 with this Diver 300 Series 1 that they broke into the modern oversized sports watch segment. And so because they realized they were latecomers to the party, they wanted to make something that was no-nonsense, uncompromised, hail, hardy, and had a little bit of a distinctive aesthetic to it. And they accomplished all of those with the Diver Reference 300 Series 1. Now, the look, as I stated, is a little bit of a mishmash of the best of Blancpain, Panerai, and Rolex. But I'm going to add that the watch has a phenomenal set of credentials as a hardcore sporting reference, and a lot of that comes from what I'm feeling on my wrist, which is the fit and the feel, the integrity of the product. It's something that's almost ineffable, difficult to express, but when you hold something in your hand, when you experience a machine that's just a cut above, a vintage steam engine, a 1980s Mercedes-Benz car door, you shut it and there's that resounding thump. There, there's no resonance, there's just that thump. And you can almost feel it in your chest, the solidity of the thing. This diver has it. Its credentials, as I stated, are impeccable. 2,500 feet of dive rating. That's 750 meters of water resistance. It has a five millimeter sapphire, not domed but flat. It actually creates a unique profile on top of that generous bezel. Now the bezel is beautifully broad and incredibly, I would say satisfying to turn in the fingers. It's got a rapid double ratcheting click that sounds almost like a Gatling gun. Some bezels have widely spaced detents. They're difficult to turn. They've got almost like a tactile sensation of being packed with Play-Doh. I get none of that from the RGM Diver. It's crisp, it's loud, and it feels so wonderfully analog, so mechanical in my fingers. In the hand, this watch is a pleasure to hold, but to operate, it takes it to a new dimension. I also want to mention that the watch features a remarkably rugged and well-built bracelet. The tolerances are extraordinary. As you can see, you really can't see too much daylight through this. And despite being close coupled with 
tight manufacturing tolerances. On the wrist, these links don't pull hair. They're nice and supple. Underneath, they're closely coupled and slightly curved to conform to the wrist. Very comfortable. Likewise, the bracelet, which features a clamshell, closes with a satisfying snick, opens with the same, and features a beautiful CNC machined dive extension. It's as solid as the rest of the watch. You can always tell the quality of a dive watch from the caliber of the clasp and the dive extension because those are almost like the canaries in the coal mine for quality issues for short-sighted or, or corner cutting, cutting assembly. There's none of that here. This CNC machined assembly looks and feels like it belongs in the Museum of Modern Art and I have no doubt that if you check out the high-res images on our website watch you want, you're going to feel the same way. No part of this watch disappoints. There are quite a few points that surprise and delight. And I think any patriotic American watch enthusiast is going to take pride in the fact that something of this caliber is being assembled in the U.S. I want to add that the watch features a fine Swiss movement, so there is that element of having the best of both worlds in a single package. It is the ETA 2892A2 uh, of Bond Seamaster fame, a very thin movement at 3.6 millimeters with bi-directional winding. It's a very fluid winding system, so unlike a lot of Valjoux 7750 based unidirectional winders, there's no rotor wobble on your wrist. Moreover, because the movement is exceptionally rugged, it's well suited to a sports watch such as this one. And it also features another thoughtful addition by RGM, which is a full soft iron anti-magnetic Faraday cage encompassing the movement, adding a degree of shielding against the kind of high-powered wiring looms, high-end speakers, subwoofers, stereo systems, and computers featured in modern high-tech homes and offices. So the watch has just that extra measure of resilience beyond its big burly case and its screw-fixed bezel. Very sturdy in every aspect, this watch simply doesn't disappoint from a fit, finish, or philosophy perspective. And you can see the RGM Diver Reference 300, 43.5 millimeters in stainless steel, with all original RGM boxes, technical manuals, and documents of provenance on our website, Watch You Want.